Hi, I'm Grant. This is Dad Crafted, and this is Stark Industries Iron Man Light Up LED Bar Sign. All right, let's go. <laughs> so here is the arc reactor that I 3D printed. I figured I will just put a link in the description to the Thingiverse page where I found this and I printed all the parts. But there's some copper, there's some glow in the dark, there's some gray. A lot of this is going to be hidden. Mainly the front will be there. Lights will shine through the back and hopefully through the glow parts here. And it will look like Tony's arc reactor and be pretty cool. We'll see. So the intent was to cut through the letters, but then when I have these R's and A's with the holes in the middle, I need those middle pieces to have a part that floats, so now I need to turn it into like a stencil format. So I think if I just do a line there and a line here, then this part gets cut out. Same for the D, the A, Cutting these is going to be very, very difficult. So this is going to take a while. Let's speed this up a little bit.
So I'm building a box around I this, and I need this okay, okay. to be a greater than 45 degree cut for the outside frame for this to be a good miter. So I'm gonna figure that out. You have to use science or math or something. So now, if I take this back to zero, and I put a board up against here, it'll actually make a 45 degree cut. So when I come back to the left, and bring it back to 45, it should make the 135 degree cut I need. Or is it technically the other way around? I don't know, I don't do math, but it should work. Had that wrong. I've got my 45. And now I've actually got this set to 22 and a half. If I go all the way to 45, it's just, it would cut right down the thing again. And that's pointless. So I think if I do this 22 and a half, that'll be 22 and a half on top of the 90. So if I do two of those, they should join at a 45. I think. Maybe. We'll see. There's my joint. Pretty good miter. And I'll be. That actually worked. Ha <laughs> ha. So, now, I'm gonna take this and we'll cut a quarter inch deep slots all the way down on both sides of the board. Quarter inch in on each side. So that's a quarter, a quarter, and then each slot will be another quarter, quarter. That's one full inch. So that means the inside of the box should be two and a half inches wide on a three and a half inch board. So that gives me two and a half inches and this is going to rest on top of that outer piece of hardboard. So from here to here it's actually two and a quarter. So I'll have a quarter inch to spare, hopefully enough to run a little bit of lighting in here and shine up through the middle. That's green. Uh, green and blue are backwards. Green, blue. It's like, let's go white. All right, let's do this. 
really have no idea what I'm doing here, so I'm just gonna try to lay it all out and see how much I have left. So before I attach all of the outer pieces, I'm trying to get this thing, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm trying to get it assembled, because once I get everything glued up, it's pretty much done, and then I won't be able to get back inside to the guts, and I've got pieces that are hanging, that aren't sticking, and I'm trying to super glue and clamp, and uh, I think I got it. As feared, the strips that have the adhesive on the back of the lights really wasn't enough, so I've super glued and I've got clamps in various spots. Those will come off. Hopefully, this holds because once this thing gets together, there's no taking it apart. Maybe we'll cut holes in the back. I don't know. But I keep telling myself it's just going to work. But arc reactor, sweet. Black primer. I don't want to get paint inside the letters, so I'm using this scrap piece of board to block as I spray the corners that need touched up for more I see. The good times came and the good times went and I learned how to ignore my hunger pain. I look ahead at the open world all about the people and what they know. People don't know nothing, no matter what they tell you, man.